Morning everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. It's a Sunday morning, it's before daybreak and I'm on my way to Matt's again. So obviously we're going out for a stalk, why else would we get up this early? Now I don't know if you know this, but the reason we're up so early is because when you check your app and it says that uh, sunrise is at 5.32 in this case, I'll show you what 5.32 is and this is now 4.39. Morning. Morning buddy, how are you doing? I'm alright. So it's just gone half five, we've been here since about, I'll be about 40, 45 minutes now. Um, we're at a estate in uh, North Somerset, we're trying to get uh, Muntjac ideally because they've been making inroads into the area. Uh, they are a little menace, these things, uh, there's lots of ground floor here, uh, bluebells in particular, and um, the owners are very keen to keep as much time as possible and stop the Muntjac taking hold. Um, I had one here the other day, it's the first, first one I'd had uh, on the estate, but there are, judging by the amount of slots on the floor, I see there are lots of rodeo walking around on tiptoes or a lot of muntjac about as well, unless it's just a few individuals which are uh, like doing little figures of eight around the estate, so that's the priority. Um, we'll take any small car bucks as well if we can find them, um, but yeah, priority definitely on muntjac. The meat on muntjac is probably one of my favourite of the deer. They are little bastards of skin, there's no clear determination between where the meat ends in the first dance, so they can take a little bit of knife work. Um, and if you're in a bit of a rush, you can tear, especially around the tops of the haunches and stuff. But they are delicious. They're also really good for this sort of going into the summer because they're big enough to give everyone a good feed. But there you can like asado cross them and or just have nice little joints of them. Whereas if you have a fallow, obviously you've got lots of other bits and pieces that you have to try and find space for. But in terms of a like a, a, a fridge style deer, the munjack are perfect. Uh, it's a lovely morning, it's quite misty, so we're walking up into the mist at the moment. Um, obviously a thermal's helping in the woods and um, yeah, I just need to see how we can get on and uh, yeah, wish us luck. It's really hard to gauge his quality. I 
can see his head quite clearly, but not, not his antlers. Just talk about what went wrong, man. I forgot to load the rifle. Do you want me to include that or not? You can Oh, it just fucking happens, doesn't it, mate? It's, uh, yeah. I took the piss out of someone relentlessly the other day for doing just that. I was so. just thinking about that. Yeah. Then, you, then you tried to catch the. Um, I tried to catch the bullet and I dropped it as well. Have you picked it up? I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up, bitch. <laughs> Pulse our pro staff, everyone. Pulse our... Sweet mate. Well, oh, grab its back feet. Right. So you're going to use mine? Yeah. All right. Tell me what you think. Knife has been officially blooded. Okay, so a brisket stuck it. Okay, just to give it because it was a neck shot animal. So I brisket stuck it just to try and uh, get some of the blood out of the system. Um, I'm just going to expose the esophagus windpipe now. Grab the esophagus and windpipe, cut it off with a larynx box at the top here. That's a bit of clean moss. Separate the two, squeeze any food matter down the pipe here. Flick that round there, so nothing will regurgitate up there now. say the rough weight of that was now? Uh, what live, well, a larder weight, that'll probably be about 18 and a half kilos, a bit more maybe. What does larder weight mean? Head off, legs off. Oh, right, okay. So in, in, in fur? In fur weight, yeah. Yeah. What I'll do now is fill with my breastbone is. Breastbone starts here. Ooh. 
How's the knife? Yeah, it seems to be working. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I can't believe <laughs> you've just done that. Look what he's done. You mother <laughs> Right, so exposing the top of the sternum here. A little nick just to guide my saw. Done that here, we've split our breastbone down. Comes good in here. Just a tiny little tail on the road there. Let's pull that back. Bowel's loosened off in there now, so you can that drop through. Your hand up here, Got a relatively full bladder here. That's the anus there, and the bladder. Leave the kidneys in. Now we're doing this minutes after it was shot. Well, say yeah. ten, 10 minutes tops. Yeah. What would happen if, like, you know, can you, li can you leave this longer? What happens? You can leave it longer, yeah. Um, the only thing is you've got to be conscious of the fact that because the, they eat green stuff, they, they'll swell up and up and up. And as they swell up, sometimes they'll, they'll leach fluids out of there because it's a porous stomach and everything and just the pressure will leach fluids out of it so you get a bit more um a bit more sort of well fluid in the cavity it's not the end of the world it's just that you, you want the temperature to come down as quick as possible so that's a nice clean clean carcass idea you just prop that up with something nice and people were asking to see more of the gralic so yeah. hopefully that uh, satisfies a few viewers any suggestions, let us know. So what are you looking for? I'm looking at my lymph nodes. So we're on our way back to get the deer now. And all in all, not a bad morning. Yeah, so a bit annoying not to uh, bump into a munjack. Um, still seeing some slots, although they don't look super fresh. Um, I did have one the other day. Um, but yeah, I have to come back because they are priority around here at the moment. So, yeah, another day, maybe we'll strike lucky. We're just going to pick the buck up at the moment that I got earlier. Um, Alex has been taking the piss out of me pretty much constantly because I, uh, I actually forgot to load the bloody rifle. Probably because he was trying to festoon me with kit like microphones and stuff like that, so I blame him for it. Anyway, he was like, look, do you want to include that footage in it? And I was like, you know what? I myself have taken the piss out of people relentlessly for doing just what I did. Um, and it's a part of stalking, so yeah, it's important to keep things real. So I fucked up, wear it really.